New Year, new logo. Welcome to January Miniature Golf with Mugglehammer. Combining my two favorite hobbies. I really hope Renaissance Fairs and Comic Con start up again soon so I can make some Wizarding World content as well. I've been slacking off seriously with painting and didn't have a very successful month. I only painted these three Dragon Ogres for three points and a bonus point for finishing a unit. Ed from Australia, the Lord of Compliments, gave me these really cool endless spells. Also, big congratulations on becoming a dad! Wolf Live Miniatures, who streams loads on Twitch, gifted me this Archeon that I've been looking at for a while. Would love to paint him up again and to see how it compares to what I painted as a team. This month I decided to get rid of some models that no longer spark joy, and use the money to buy some cool new stuff. I sold this fine cast on Va for 3 points, 10 Chaos Knights for 10 points, a Necromancer for 1 point, 6 Centigors for 6 points, the ugliest Tsinsk Sorcerer ever for 1 point, and a bunch of High Elves for 4 points. Buying, oh dear, here comes the pain. One gyro bomber for one point. A teens sorcerer and familiar for two points. King dwarf Ulric and his shield bearers for three points. An old metal gyrocopter for one point. A new Beastman Shaman for one point. A Metal Chimera that I plan to use for an Agrim von Horstmann conversion, one point. A Ghost Keel and two drones for three points. A complete Arcanaut company for ten points, ouch. Galen and Dorlia van Dens, such cool sculpts, two points. A Metal Marauder Champion for one point. And then I went overboard. I start collecting Greywater Fastness, 13 points. And even worse, a Tau Empire start collecting for 23 points. Well, if I hadn't bought both those start collecting boxes, I would have been in the plus, but still way too many purchases and not enough painting. Let's hope next month I paint a lot more.